So on the Herbie bus, my main board was bad or a combination of other things. So I want to make it regular uh, RC with just a standard controller. So I'm going to use this off the shelf servo. Here's where the stock steering was in servo. So I split it apart and it was just basically its own housing with all the gears and motor inside it. So what I've done is dremel out a spot where I can stick the regular servo in like this to fit inside. Once I get it finished dremeled out, both sides secure it together, then I'll have standard steering I can use with my normal RC car controller. Should work well and I'll uh, get some more videos when I get it all together. So here's the front suspension again. Got the old servo box all ground out. And if you do it just right, the standard servo, this is a f old school Futaba, will wedge right in there. And then when you put the two halves together, which I also had to clearance the nose, so the shaft would stick out. Doing this without a stand, of course. Put the screws in there. That'll pull her together. And I just have to get the servo horn to fit on there, which I have the original one from the Herbie bus, and then just screw it on there. So I stacked the servo arms with the original Herbie bus and the Futaba one underneath. Hooked it up to the radio, got my battery, controller. Hobby King. Awesome company. Okay, here's the test drive. I've got the Hobby King HKGT2 Bravo and the radio that comes with it right here. This is all the old crap I'll pull out eventually. Here's the X Car 45 amp brushed speed controller and just a regular RC 7.2 volt battery pack and then here is the servo front suspension setup installed it's all one piece that's why I had to do all that grinding and we'll give it a try Still got to work on reverse. I have to set up the speed controller or something. It's kind of intermittent, but oh, but you can see it works. The original battery pack, I forget, it was pretty high. I think like 13 or 14 volts, and I'm only using 7.2. I'm guessing it was for the hydros they had built into it, little motors to raise it up and down. If I hook those up, I'll have to put it on a toggle because my radio only has three channels, and you need a bunch for that probably at least four but there you go it's possible I'll post links in the description of uh, where I got this stuff enjoy small update I hooked into the original bus 9.6 volt battery I was off earlier the one that was in it held a charge and I have a brand new one in the box and the charger so I hooked it all up I just have to secure all my electronics but as you can see The uh, electronics are supposed to be only rated for 7.2, so I figured 9.6. I haven't checked the with the multimeter, but it's probably only like 8.5 or so. 
and it seems to be fine for my testing. I'll have to do longevity, but I think it'll be fine. So uh, there you go. Bring new life to an old hurry bus for uh, pretty cheap.